oxygen therapy is widely available and used in a variety of settings to relieve or prevent tissue hypoxia. The goal of oxygen therapy is to prevent or relieve hypoxia by delivering oxygen concentrations greater than ambient air which is 21%. Clients who have difficulty ventilating all areas of their lungs, those whose gas exchange is impaired, or people with heart failure may benefit from oxygen therapy. There are different kinds of oxygen delivery system depending on the patient's need. We have it via your nasal cannula. We also have your face mask. We have your non-rebreather mask as well as your venturi mask. Preparatory phase, provide privacy to the patient, assess the patient's breathing pattern, its respiratory rate, rhythm, and ease and sound, notes patient's circulatory status, prepares or assembles equipment needed, oxygen tank with its content, humidifier with distilled water, washes hands prior to initiating oxygen inhalation. Explain the procedure to the patient. Good morning, ma'am. We will place you on oxygen therapy via nasal cannula as ordered. Connects the tubing to the oxygen humidifier. Turns on the oxygen tank and make sure that the regulator is closed before opening. Checks the nasal prong and anchor the tube snugly, fitting to the patient's ear. Use hypoallergenic plaster as necessary. Regulates the oxygen flow meter as prescribed and make sure that there are bubbles in the humidifier as the oxygen flows through. Document the procedure done. Ensure that the patient is in comfortable position and observe the patient's response to the therapy. Wash hands after the procedure. Hi ma'am, good morning. I'm your nurse for the day and I'm nurse abs. So according to the physician's order, we need to place you on auto support via face mask. Is it okay ma'am? Okay. Connects the tubing to the oxygen humidifier. Turns on the oxygen tank and makes sure that the regulator is closed before opening. Regulates the oxygen flow meter as prescribed and make sure that there are bubbles in the humidifier as the oxygen flows through. Ensure that the patient is in comfortable position and observe the patient's response to the therapy. Document the procedure done. Wash hands after the procedure. Nebulization is a nursing procedure that adds moisture or medications to inspired air 
by mixing particles of varying sizes with the air. The moisture added through nebulization improves clearance of pulmonary secretions. Nebulization delivers bronchodilators and mucolytic agents. Preparatory phase, provide privacy to the patient. Prepares the equipment needed. Check all the tubings and components are clean. Places the nebulizer compressor system on a table or other surface. Check if the button of your nebulizer is functioning well. Prepare the nebulization kit and the medication to be administered via nebulization. Aspirate the medication from the nebule. Unscrews the nebulizer cup and pours medication per doctor's order. Screws or reattaches cup by turning clockwise. Plugs unit to the electrical outlet and turns compressor on to begin treatment or to check for the mist coming from the nebulizer. Instruct the patient to exhale. Instructs a patient to keep a deep breath from the mouthpiece. Hold this breath briefly, then exhale. Observes expansion of the patient's chest to ascertain that he or she is taking a deep breath. Instruct the patient to breathe slowly and deeply until all medications is nebulized. For aftercare, do not forget to press power switch off and unplug the unit from the electrical outlet when treatment is complete. Encourage the patient to cough after several deep breaths. Teach breathing exercises. Disassemble the nebulizer chamber and clean the component with warm water and cleaning solution and let it air dry. Wash hands and document. 